Kwa miaka 25 taifa la Rwanda limepiga hatua katika kuleta maridhiano baina ya wananchi wake tangu mauaji ya halaiki. Lakini kuna wale wananchi ambao wamekuwa katika taifa hili kwa miaka 25 iliyopita na hivyo basi tunazungumza na baadhi yao kuweza kutoa kauli zao kuhusu maadhimisho haya na kauli zao kuhusu wanayotazamia katika taifa hili. My name is Kaimba Bertrand. I'm a genocide survivor. When genocide happened, I was uh, eight months. My, my mom uh, is the one who was first killed. Uh, she was going to find some milk for me. Then he go and didn't come. They caught her and they killed her. And my father continued to be hidden. He came back to bring me milk because I was eight months. And he do it continuously. After some uh, one week, then he, then he didn't come back. So the people has uh, come and tell us that uh, also he, he is killed. My name is Alilan Chuti. I was born in 94, which means I'm turning 25 this coming October. I was born in a family of five children and I'm the third boy. When I started to my mom, her parents were killed, even her siblings, the sisters and brothers. So, so, some of them, they were left, but most of them, they were killed. Even to my dad, uh, his parents were killed. Even some of his siblings, they were killed. It must be disturbing. Yeah, sometimes it is, it is disturbing because you see, you don't have my pa parents. You don't have mother, you don't have someone who call, you can call mother, you don't have someone who call, you can call father. But uh, there, there was uh, an association called IRG. It's an it's a student genocide survival association. It started in 1996 in secondary schools where we, we go in that association, we, they form families. In that families, you find there was mother and there was father. When you and your friends are having a chat, what do you think of Rwanda as? I can't say that everything is perfect. Even some my age mates, there are some people who still have like the, their mind. They still have uh, genocide ideology, they still have uh, those people, I mean those ideas which they are not supposed to have. But as we, the government put some efforts to teach, to teach the youth, I think most of them they will change and they will, we will have the, the good country as well. But also the life uh, comes after the genocide. Uh, the government of Rwanda started to, 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 to support the survivors. That's where we find ourselves in schools because the government put us in school and they put a, a survivors fund, that fund which can assist survivors to study. Actually, my future is good. Uh, I was trying to, to strive for a better future, of course, where I'm young, because I know no one will be uh, there for me unless me, myself, I have to work hard, I have to study hard. <laughs> Where do you see Rwanda in the next 25 years? In the next 25 when years? you will be 50. <laughs> uh, Rwanda is a country which is uh, changed. Uh, actually, as, as our president has said, it, Rwanda has been changed for good and forever. We have hope that in 20, 20, another 25, 25 years, Rwanda will be like uh, the, those countries, say like Singapore or other countries. In future, if I will have my children, yeah, we have to teach them the history of our country. Because if you don't know where you come from, of course you don't know where you are going. So we have to know the history of the country, so as to know really what happened, to know the causes, and even to know how to fight against those ideas of genocide ideology. Oh,